My name's Arthur Kay, and I'm the Chief Executive of BioBean, a green energy company that has industrialised the process of turning waste coffee grounds into two advanced biofuel products, a biomass pellet used for heating buildings and a biodiesel used for powering urban transport systems. And these are they. We've built our first factory here in the UK, um, up in Cambridgeshire, capable of processing 50,000 tonnes of waste coffee grounds each year. It's a process which is amazingly environmentally efficient. For each tonne of waste coffee grounds um, manufactured using our technology, we save seven tonnes in CO2 emissions. We estimate that um, the Compass Group produces several thousand tonnes of waste coffee grounds each year, and our model is essentially that we are able to collect those coffee grounds and turn them into these two fuel products. Once it arrives at our site, the oil is extracted using our patented technology. We then pelletise the residual biomass. Compass Group then have the option to buy back these products to use within their estate for heating buildings, or else, if not, they're used within um, either biodiesel and mineral diesel blends, or else sold for heating buildings um, across the UK. We're the first company in the world to be doing this, um, and I, hopefully it's an opportunity that we can discuss further and of, uh, is of interest to, to Compass Group. And I look forward to fielding your questions. Thank you. OK, thank you. Arthur Kay may only have brought with him two small samples, but these biofuels, a biomass pellet for heating systems and a biodiesel for transport fuel, could carry a huge corporate social responsibility message for Compass, a unique process made possible by baristas disposing of coffee waste separately. Currently, what do we do with our coffee waste? In general, about 80% of the UK's coffee waste end up, ends up in landfill, landfill. Um, and if not, ends up in um, either incinerators in London predominantly, or else elsewhere in the UK it might end up in anaerobic digesters, which are large gasification facilities. Do you currently trade with anybody else? Uh, we do, yeah, no, a number of both um, high street retail outlets, but our, our main customer is in fact the large instant coffee facilities, who produce roughly from a jar of instant coffee you get two jars of waste, so they produce huge amounts of waste from a single site. Oh wow, I didn't realise that. How would you collect the coffee waste? How, how would the whole sort of process and system work? Um, so there are two models. One is um, a direct collection model, which we operate in central London, um, and the other is a backhaul model. So if we give the example of how used cooking oil works, it's simply segregated out from the general waste stream. Coffee is very easy to separate out because it's a waste stream which is controlled by baristas and compass group staff, as opposed to by the general public, which means that it can be separated out very easily. And then in the same way with used cooking oil, it's either collected jointly collected, they collect the used cooking oil and the coffee grounds at the same time, it's then backhauled to one of their depots around the UK, aggregated and then taken to our site. Our offering typically um, realises a cost saving of between 50 and 80% in terms of that waste disposal because we remove, currently you pay a gate fee for disposing of coffee grounds as with any other waste stream and we offer a zero gate fee solution so it's a very significant cost saving. Do, do the, the operators and the companies you're working with currently, do they normally declare this process that they're in with you in order that it can be reported on their sort of like annual CSR reports? It's something that they use as part of that, presumably? Absolutely. I mean, it's, it's, it's both a CSR aspect to it and also it's a kind of a short way to get to hit a lot of the CO2 targets because of those significant emission savings. There's also a social and recycling aspect to it and fits yeah. very neatly within the kind of growing idea of the circular economy and um, kind of circular business models. So you would collect it for free and then you would sell it on if we didn't want it back, is that right? It, well, is that, well, you either sell it to you back or, or, or sell it on elsewhere, but yeah. So once they've taken it away from you, yeah, it's their it, property. That's, right, yeah. that's fine, that, that was my, yeah. So there'd be no charge for collection? Uh, there is a collection charge, right. there, but however, there's not a charge for disposal. And the oil and the bean, is that something that so they, it's, they it's can generally buy? So this is, this is a um, standard um, biodiesel, so it can be used in any combustion engine or blended with mineral diesel. Um, and then the biomass pellets um, are a, a kind of standard fuel pellet which is used instead of either coal or, or wood, basically. So it's a, this is the same calorific content as, as coal and this is the same calorific content as mineral diesel. However, they're both 100% carbon neutral. Can, can I have a look? Yeah, absolutely. The output, is that more or less expensive than crude oil or you know would there be a market for people buying this is it going to be cheaper for, you know, yeah because your, your point around the closed loop solution for me I don't think we'd be looking to buy it back enormous market for it I right. mean uh, the UK consumes six million tons of biomass pellets each year and and tens and tens of millions of tons of um, biodiesel so I mean it's a great CSL message I think I'm trying to think well why haven't we done this before really so certainly for, for a trial basis, and we've got a couple of sectors where this would, I think, resonate really well. So it's a yes for me. Fantastic.
I think on, on the basis of what the, you know, we could actually um, do from a CSR point of view and a PR point of view, I think it's got some really good, you know, really good legs. So I'm going to say yes as well. Fantastic. It's a great story. I think it would be a great story for Compass. I think it's a really simple initiative that would work. Fantastic. So yes. Thank you. I'm a yes as well. I think my, um, my challenge will be to you around how it's actually executed. So uh, as simple as it sounds to just take coffee beans out of a barista into a into a bag and um, get that collected. I think that's operationally mm. quite challenging for us. Clearly a lot of potential if we can unlock that, um, but if we can start small and, and grow momentum yeah. and demonstrate the benefit, um, there's a great CSR message that we can sell into our clients as well. That's fantastic. Thank you very much. Well, thank you very much for your time and thanks for the, for the thank yeses. You. Thank you. Thanks. All are in agreement that BioBean's environmental and carbon neutral credentials are enough to sustain four yes votes. Added to this, the potential for a positive PR message, Compass will be working with Arthur to initially trial the process in selected sites.